Hello everyone, Inventus Darkness129 here today, and I'm here to talk about uh, something that pretty sad that happened recently is that the Archie Sonic comics has been finally cancelled or ended, I guess. I, I don't know, but I'm just gonna read the uh, official statement from Sega, and then I'm just gonna give my opinions. I'm not gonna edit like out anything or anything like that. I'm just gonna just straight up record this probably put a video with it maybe maybe not I don't know how I'm gonna do that and then just upload it so yeah but anyways what it says is after 24 years of Mermel storytelling Sega of America will conclude their Sonic the Hedgehog publishing partnership program with Archie Comics this does not mark the end of the Sonic comic ah, sorry this does not mark the end of the Sonic comics but signifies Sega of America's decision to take a different direction for the series that will be announced at a later date Sega would like to thank Sonic's amazing fans for their loyalty and passion over all the years. Sega looks forward to providing more information soon. So, yeah, pretty much saying that even though the Archie comics is over, we will apparently have another comic series, but I am, you know, looking forward to that comic series, but at the same time, I it's like rest in peace more Sad AM characters because we already had to deal with the reboot which got rid of so many characters and then after the reboot we have and we have to get it like the comics cancelled after I even brought back characters that were forgotten like Honey the Cat and she was like one of my favorites when they uh with, with the whole reboot after that but um yeah I I don't know honestly because I really enjoy the comics a lot I mean to be honest I read like up to where the Penders thing started coming in and I kind of skimmed through those to, like not really reading them just because I mean there was a reboot anyways I didn't really have to really read them and I wasn't that interested in Penders fan fiction like storytelling or anything like that honestly but after that I read as much as I could and I read about a hundred of the issues because I actually spent time binging on the comics getting into them just because I found them so interesting I binged on them, got read over at least a hundred issues in about one to two days, which is surprising considering how much I don't honestly read. <laughs> Shows how much I prioritize things that I like. But um, yeah, I I knew this the comic series for such a long time, but I never really fully took the time to get into them. I remember I used to watch comic dramas on them on like YouTube that people would make. Um, and I had an issue a friend of mine gave me that had the, uh, had the, uh, when Mecha Sally first appeared. And also, I got another issue of the 30 Years Later Sonic Universe, uh, issue. And after having those, I thought, hey, I should actually, you know, what, get into these comics, considering I have these two issues right here. It wouldn't, it wouldn't really take too much time. I don't do much anyway, so I might as well read them, and I, I love them a lot. And I just loved how much they remembered things from the past, unlike the games do now. And I also just love the amount of characters in it and just everything about it, to be well, except for the Pender stuff, but everything about it. And I kind of feel like that if uh, Penders didn't like try to sue around the time of uh, Sonic Chronicles, that this maybe would not have happened, or if not, or if at least happened later on in the years. Also, I, I would like to see where the games that are gone after uh, Chronicles 2, but that game didn't do well either, so uh, it, eh. I wish, I just wish that it didn't have to end with in the middle of the Genesis of a Hero thing, because there were still other things left over they had uh, published. If you remember, there was images of uh, the next, like, what, three or four issues? And now we're never gonna get those issues, and those covers for them looked really nice. From what I remember, it had uh, Amy, Sally, and I think it was Bunny, and they was all doing the Sonic Jam cover poses. It had uh, Sonic, uh, I forgot the name of it, the one with Sonic Mighty and Ray. That this is like a really cool game that I may play someday, even though it looks super tense. I may play it, and uh, Sonic Three. I remember that. And then there was this one when they was like having some kind of party, whatever, maybe Generations, I have no clue. And I'm sorry if you hear noise in the background, I share a room. They're asleep and they're like moving around, but I wanted to get this done. 
because I'm probably not going to do it, but yeah. But for the whatever comics is going to be announced later, I hope it is at least good or maybe even better than the, um, than the Archie comics. I'm hoping that it's not Rest in Peace set I am characters but it, it, it most likely is because uh, they're pr probably owned by Archie now and um, they pr Sega probably doesn't want a whole Pinder thing to redone but even though we may have a new comic series I don't think they're gonna go through stuff like that are in the games or like past games at least and probably the next upcoming games like forces and whatnot but um, I don't really see them putting in a lot. Maybe we'll get new characters in them. Hopefully. I, I hope so, honestly. But I hope that I hope the best for whatever comes up later on as we get the new information about this comic series. Because I'll tell you, I'm certainly excited for it, even though I don't sound that excited. Just kind of, you know, down because the comics has ended. But I would like to see what's going to happen with the new comics. And I'm going to try to read them, too. So, um, yeah, that was Ventus Darkness 129 giving you the news on the Sonic comics or whatever. I'm not used to saying that. But, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, my opinions and all that. And, uh, yeah, peace. So, um, actually, after already making this video, this is, like, uh, just a sudden thing to add in, but, uh, even after saying all right, peace and all that, but, um, something that I have just been reminded of is that even though rest in peace the comics from Archie, Sega does plan to keep the comics going in some type of way and that the uh, characters like Sally, Rotor, and everyone else, they actually are not owned by uh, Sega. Actually, well, no, no, I mean, I'm sorry, this is like a sudden edit and I'm just saying this really quickly, but they're actually owned by Sega and Dick. <laughs> but um, yeah, they're owned by both of them. And uh, they can still use the character, surprisingly. So, um, that makes me a little bit more excited for what they're going to do now. I can't wait to see. I'm kind of even more excited now because I thought rest in peace the characters, but never mind. Anyways, yeah, this is just a sudden edit. Again, everyone, have an, I hope you all have a nice day and uh, peace.